Dateline Chiselton. And in the crisp morning air, Supergrand was busy demonstrating her new athletic prowess, little realizing the earth-shattering events that are soon to take place. How did I do, Jeff? Supergrand, you just cleared the world record by three feet. Ace! Meanwhile, the Scunner Campbell finds that in the list of top 50 criminals, he's now in bottom place. 50th! Me! The great Scunner Campbell! Shivering snake bites. Surely I'm not that bad a crook. Let's face it, Uncle. You have had a lot of bad luck recently. What you really need is a really big job. Something that'll pull you up at this quick. Something that'll make you as famous as him. Right? Yes, the number one crook for some months running now has been that swarthy, smiling scouser, Mad Mick of Merseyside. Who, unknown to Supergrand and the Scunner Campbell, was at that precise moment arriving in Chiselton. for this rare visit of yours to Chiseldon, Mr. Mersey? Uh, yeah, much. I'm pulling this job, right? Was it coincidence, or was it fate that had brought yet another celebrity to Chiseldon Airport that fateful morning? Ahoy there, I say! Doesn't anyone want to interview me? I mean, I am the rather famous son of a... You know, who? It's not off nearly the back streets and chip tops of Merseyside, Mr. Mersey. This job you've got up here, it must be a big one, right? Only the most audacious one ever. Come on, let's have some more comments. Oh, no, no more comments. No, 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 no. I say, I am the Honourable Bertrand, son of the Lady Battenberg, after all. I'm pleased to inform you, Supergrad, that the Lady Battenberg herself has personally asked if you will yourself personally look after her darling son, Bertrand, during his official visit to Chiselton today. Oh, the wee Battenberg boy. <laughs> oh, I'd be delighted. The thing is, Supergrand, he may be in some danger, you see. The Battenberg boy? We have reason to believe that Mad Mick of Merseyside is also in town, you see. Yon saucy wee scouser. And that can only mean one thing, Supergrand. Aye, trouble. Big trouble. And then it happened, that fateful incident, as Jeff Capes took his final throw of the caber. Tell the Lady Battenberg no to worry herself. She can rely on Super Grand. Oh, Super Grand. Oh. Wake up, Supergrand. Please wake up. The Lady Battenberg's relied on you, the whole country's relied on you to protect the Honourable Bertrand today. It was an accident, Supergrand. I didn't mean it. It was a dramatic blow for Supergrand in her constant fight against crime. The session went out like a light, Uncle. Just like that. She safely took in that chiseled infirmary boss, Edison. So the old minge bag's grounded at last. Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> But just at that moment, in the Chiselton Hoodlums Hotel, Mad Mick of Merseyside was about to unveil his dastardly plan. Good, eh? But, Mr. Mersey, it's the dead spit of Lady Battenberg's son, the Honourable Burton. Exactly. My brother, the toxic toe rag. He made it, right? Hello, sailor. Who's a... Pretty guy, then. But how do you plan to use it, Mr. Mersey? This Battenberg kid, right? 
He's supposed to be attending this big official function here today. Only he will not be there. Won't be there? Because I'm going to replace him with this robot like while I kidnap the real bear from Battenberg and take him back to Merseyside with me. Kidnap? At which point I shall probably demand a huge ransom from his mummy. Her ladyship. A ransom the size of Kenny Dalgleish's salary. But won't her ladyship be furious, Mr. Mersey? Um, possibly. <laughs> possibly. My husband and I are, of course, relying totally on that wonderful little super granny Smith to take care of our dear son during his official visit to Chiselton today. Do you hear that, Super Gran? That was Lady Battenberg herself speaking, so you just gotta hurry up and get better. What about all your superpowers, Granny? You know, the glow to the head. Seems to have knocked my superpowers. <laughs> Six, will he? But what about the Honorable Bertrand, Granny? Honorable Bertrand. I mean, someone's gonna look after him, right? You and Edison will have to take my place, that's all. Us, Granny? But why not super, super grand? <laughs> There's no one else I can rely on, Kitty Winkies. Ray, you, you heard what Super Grand said. It's all down to us now. Do I have to? Special delivery, Uncle! Oh, great. What's this, boss? All Master Crooks use this guys is by. Penguin suits, boss. Good, eh? Very smart, Dustin. Gun so well, posh, over, boss. <laughs> Hey, what the, the Falklands is going on? I was expecting some super grand. Yeah, well, she couldn't make it. Sorry. I say, that's a jolly rotten show. I mean, she's supposed to be looking after me. Mummy said so, in case someone not very nice comes near me. Yeah, well... Well, who is going to look after me, then? We are. You? But you're nothing but a couple of... Minders. Minders? You, some scruffy little boy and some carrot-haired little girl? <laughs> Scudder Campbell can rise in the gangster's lead table is to outdo a mad Mick of Merseyside, right? Uh, so, boss? So, uh, Noodles. He's planning to kidnap the Battenberg kid, right? Only well, isn't, because we're going to kidnap him first, right? Oh, so, Uncle. A brill idea, huh? Oh, I don't think mad Mick's going to like that, boss. <laughs> and now, fellow citizens of Chiselton, Will you please all welcome our guest of honor speaker here today? That's me. Most important person. Modest little soul, isn't he? Shh, we're supposed to be looking for dangers, right? Our royal ladyship's son, the Honorable Bertram Blackwood.
least we got you here safe and sound. Thank goodness that's over with. Superman will be proud of us, eh? And no sign of man make anywhere. All right, sailor. I say. You're coming with me, sunshine. What a dastardly little puddle little crook, aren't you? Got it. In one. And guess what, sunshine? You're coming home with me to Liverpool. Mummy wouldn't want me to go there. Right, I mean, it's nowhere near as nice as where I live in Upper Cross Storm Thames. Get going, yo, boy. I love it. But at precisely that moment. Ladies and gentlemen, and a gottle of gear. Hello, Mummy. Who is a gritty guy then? All the nice girls love a sailor. All the nice girls love a tar. Are you sure that's really Bertrand Battenberg, Uncle? Of course it is, boy. Just obviously hasn't inherited only his brains, that's all. Ten green goggles ganging on the wall. Ten green goggles ganging on the wall. And if one green goggle should... What's going on, Willie? I just don't understand it. He's got bloody bananas. Goggles hanging on the wall. Hey, sit, old chap. Let's be a little bit civilized about this. Oh, don't you see? Oh. Ten green gottles hanging on the wall. Ten green gottles ganging on the wall. And if on green gottles should accept. I say, Mr. Mercy, I've never been to the north before. Haven't you, Sunshine? What a shame. Well, only as far as Bishop Stortford. Well, tonight, Blue Eyes, you're going to be in Bootle, right? With nothing but scouts to eat. Scouts, Mr. Mercy? Yeah. That's what all we poor people eat up there, you know, as we sit round the crates in our clogs and shawls. I'm sure Liverpool's very nice, Mr. Mersey. Only I wasn't planning visiting it just yet. Oh, they'll love you up there, sailor. They'll eat you for breakfast. <laughs> and finally, I'd just like to say a big good guy. Oh, 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 oh. Good guy. Good guy. It's a robot! A flipping robot! But how on earth? Isn't the real Bertrand Battenberg after all, Uncle? I can see that, you tubular twit! Looks like Mad Mick's pippy to the post, eh, boss? Groveling grasshoppers! Foiled again! But Super Grand Bert and Battenberg's been kidnapped. And undoubtedly by that black-hearted blackguard from Bootle. Only you with your superpowers can save him now, Super Grand. Oh, but I'm so weak here. Really? Awful weak. But all was not lost. For suddenly... That's it. I've got it. I've got it. What have you got, Mr Capes? The solution. What does Supergran have every day to keep up her super strength? And what hasn't she been having every day since she's been grounded? I'll give up, Mr Capes. Porridge! Masses of porridge! That's it. You're right, Mr Capes. <laughs>
Meanwhile, across town, and on top of the Chiselton Bugle Building. Not long now, Blue Eyes, till me private chopper picks us up, and then you and me will be back on me mercy side. Oh, Lammy. Oh, Law. Oh, Mammy. Super Grand! Super Grand! I can't help! It's me, Bertie Barking Buck. I can see him now. On top of a very tall building. But which tall building, Super Grand? Where? About ten, Mr. Capes. Chip shop, come in. Chopper chip shop, come in. What do you mean you're lost? Helicopters don't get. What do you mean you've lost your helicopters A to Z? Oh, good. That means the kidnap's off and I can go back home to Mummy. No, Blue Eyes, it does not. Hey, law. Get back to the airport, Chopper chip shop, and pick us up there. Over. Airport? Get changed, Granny. It's Inventor Black's latest, greatest invention. A gravity oriented climbing bell. A what? Oh. Everton, Goodison, Bursey. All right, all right. I say, any fact, Super Grand? <laughs> Don't mention it, Bertie. <laughs> One place, aren't I, chum? Back to number 49 again. It was 
nothing, your ladyship. And uh, now I've fully recovered my superpowers. Why, you or anyone in the country can call on me for help any time. Thank you, super grand. Nothing that she can't do. 